So I graduated from Clemson University in 2006 and my first nursing job was on a cardiac step down unit. I fell in love with the heart per se but wanted to learn more so I took a position in the cardiovascular intensive care unit which is our ICU that takes care of the patients coming out of heart surgery and it was there that I quickly realized that I loved the specialty and the patient population. Um, I continued to work at the bedside until I got my master's from MUSC in 2013 and then I took a position with this practice in 2015 and when I think about my job I'm reminded of that quote where they say if you find a job you love you never have to work a day in your life and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. As a nurse practitioner with the group, our main role is seeing new patients in consultation and then managing the patients when they come out of surgery in the intensive care unit. Education is probably one of the most vital aspects of our role as a nurse practitioner. Essentially, we start educating our patients from the moment that we meet them. It begins with preoperative teaching and we educate them on what to expect with their surgery and through their hospital course to their discharge teaching to where we are educating them on new cardiac medications, lifestyle modifications, and what to anticipate moving forward as they continue to recover. One of the biggest things that's happened in our specialty is the development of minimally invasive procedures that offer treatment options to patients that suffer from aortic or mitral valve disease that otherwise may not be a candidate for open surgical repairs. So we're able to offer these patients a treatment option to better improve their symptoms and their quality of life and potentially extend their time that they get to spend with their family and loved ones. In our specific area, I think we have a unique situation. We're often seeing patients at their worst moments in life, some of the scariest times that they're going through. And so it's very rewarding to be their support system, to care for them, to treat them during that process, and then see what a difference we make as their symptoms improve and they're offered the opportunity to spend more time with their family.